Welcome to this video on how to set up Office 365 email on Mac Mail. Firstly, open up Mail, then go to the top menu Mail, Add Account. This brings up the Mail Account Selection window which uh, selects the type of account for Office 365, it's always Microsoft Exchange. Bear in mind if you've not set an account up in Mail already, first time you go into mail this is the window that you'll be presented with So select Microsoft Exchange and then click continue at this point you type your details in so I'll just type my name and email address Once those that you've checked those are correct you click sign in you then presented with this next window which gives you the option of configure manually or sign in I always suggest clicking sign in as this will configure everything including server settings for you and take all the hassle away. So we'll click sign in. Now you may not be presented with this screen but if you happen to have a personal Microsoft account on the same email address as your Office 365 account you'll be asked whether you want to sign into a work or school account or a personal account. If you're setting up an Office 365 email, it's always work or school account. Next, you type in your password. And click sign in. After a second or two, once assuming you've got the password correct, you're pre presented with this list of options on what you want to sync. Uh, I always usually sync everything, um, but you can unsync things if you don't want to sync particular features. And then click done. And that will set up the account. Bear in mind it can take quite a bit of time to download all the email, so don't expect to see all the emails uh, there straight away. But you'll see down at the bottom here that it's downloading messages, and it'll take a bit of time to download them depending on the size of the mailbox. Thanks for watching. That's the end of this video on how to set up an Office 365 account in Mac Mail. However, we'll point out that we always advise clients to set up Office 365 emails in the Outlook app on their Mac instead, as we find the functionality is better and it's more reliable. So if you're interested in doing that, we've got a video which is a link at the end of this video on how to do exactly that. Thanks for watching again. Thanks for watching this video. If you found this video useful, please like this video and subscribe to our channel. We welcome any comments on the video below. And if you've got anything you're struggling with, comment below and we will look to make an explaining video to help you out with that as well. Thanks.